bread service. It's good to be with you and join together just to break bread. Let's just pray. Lord, we thank you for this time that we've got to be able to come together, to be able to break bread. Lord, remember a time of remembrance of all that you've done for us. And so, Lord, we thank you for this opportunity. We pray for each person that is here breaking bread together. I pray, Lord God, that they'll be very much aware of your presence with them right where they are. Lord, in their home, Lord, whether they're there as an individual or whether they're there as a family, I pray your blessing upon them. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know, this morning I was speaking about the love of God. And, you know, love is not just words, but love has to be backed up by actions. Uh, there's a little, little saying that we have, isn't there, that says actions are louder than words. And it's okay for us to say we love somebody, but I guess the, the, the reality of it is the demonstration of our love to someone. And the word of God um, expresses God's love towards us. And uh, two very well-known verses that I'm going to ask Ali to read right now from the Gospel of John. Thanks, Ali. John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send the Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him. So the greatest demonstration of God's love was to send his only begotten son. And, um, and it's interesting, we are not far away from Christmas. It's already in focus, isn't it? But the whole, the whole aspect of the virgin birth, the incarnation, God becoming flesh, God dwelling amongst us, demonstrating the kingdom of God. The fact that Jesus Christ died upon the cross for each and every one of us, that was God's demonstration of love, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And of course the resurrection and, and after that the ascension, it's all one. You can't actually break it down into little segments. It has to be one, because without the virgin birth, within, without the incarnation, he could have never made the sacrifice to die for us. And of course, the resurrection seals what Christ accomplished upon the cross. And so we come around the table of the Lord today in the sense of receiving God's love, remembering God's love trying somehow to understand all that Christ accomplished for us upon the cross because he accomplished so much upon the cross. By his stripes are we healed. The redemption, the forgiveness, he removed our guilt and our shame. And there's so much, so many aspects to the cross, but here we are to remember the cross today. And before us, we have two sim simple emblems. We have the bread and we have a cup of juice or the wine. Each one is a symbol of Christ. The bread represents his body. The cup represents his blood that was shed for us. And as we all know that have been Christians for a long time in the book of Corinthians, it says, as often as you come together, or in the Gospels, it says that. And then Paul says, I am delivering to you what I have received from the Lord, that, that when we come together, we are to break bread. And so here we are together to break bread today to remember what Jesus Christ has done for us. And so in a moment, we're going to do that. We're going to break bread. But before we do that, I'd like to play a song to us and um, which we all know very well when I survey the wondrous cross. The wondrous cross. On 
an incredible hymn. <laughs> I, every time I hear it, every time I have the chance to sing it, um, I get lost. I get lost in what Christ has done for me, what Christ has done for us. What incredible love, what incre incredible demonstration of God's love. And uh, we come around the table right now and we take the bread. And Lord, we say thank you for your body that was broken for us. We thank you for this emblem that reminds us of what you have done for us. It? And as we break it, Lord, you said, take, eat, do this in remembrance of me. This is my body which is broken for you. So we do that. We do that in remembrance of you right now.
Thank you, Lord. And likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And after giving thanks, he said, this is the cup of the new covenant, which is my blood that is shed for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he passed the cup around, the cup of the new covenant, the cup of blessing. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. So Lord, today we thank you for the bread and for the wine. We thank you what the reminders of. Lord, don't let us ever lose sight of what it cost you to redeem us. Don't let us ever lose sight that you paid for our sins. You've washed them away with your blood and because of what you would have done lord we now <laughs> lord have our names written in the lamb's book of life lord we're in the family lord we're joined heirs with christ lord and we have free access into the throne room of grace so lord thank you thank you for this time thank you for each person that is here lord pray your blessing upon them in Jesus' name, amen.